what's going to happen to Bitcoin? Is there anything dark out there or are we just waiting for the next bull run? I'm Bill Noble. This is Toby. Hello. We are Unhinged Crypto. Coming soon on Sunday night at 6 p.m. Eastern, there will be a sound healing, also known as cryptotherapy. Disclaimer, my outfit doesn't match because I picked it out myself, <laughs> and Toby is going to take over and tell us about Bitcoin. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was too funny. <laughs> okay, so the question is... Uh, what's going to happen with Bitcoin in the uh, you know near future, say one to two months? In the next couple what, months? What's out there? Okay. So we'll just do a standard three card, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at where we've been, the hermit, right? Right. Been hiding in a cave. Stuck in a cave. <laughs> that sounds, yeah, just... Not not going out in public, finding your own truth. That's what this card stands for. Okay. <clears throat> and now we have Page of Wands. Oh, a message. Wands, fiery energy. So it looks like a new fiery energy might be coming into play. But at this point, it's very small. Okay. Like a spark. Spark. Mm -hmm. okay. And then in the future, we have the Hierophant. Interesting card. I, I'm, I'm always uh, surprised when this card comes up because the Hierophant is um, is a like a traditional spiritual kind of figure, you know. But, okay. I mean, it used to be called the Pope. So um, it has a lot to do with structure, you know, and, and organization, but it's also a bit, you know, spiritual at the same time. So I don't know what to make of that. All right. You know, we have some people worshiping it. That's a good thing. Well, you know, I was just <laughs> going to say the Bitcoin maximalists, uh, they do love their Bitcoin. They think it's Bitcoin and nothing else. Uh, it would be funny if the mathematical guys felt Bitcoin might, you know, fall out of bed or have yeah. to go down and flush people out. But the spirit behind Bitcoin is what holds it up. Right. In other words, that yeah. Satoshi white paper. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not, you know, not seeing anything negative that would indicate a downturn, but let's go ahead and pull a few more cards. There we got past, everybody worrying. Yeah. We got now, now we got an, an ace of swords. Oh, very good. New um, aces are always, I call gifts from God. Um, swords are ideas and thoughts. So some new ideas coming out, new thoughts around on what Bitcoin is, what it means, and the future. So, win at any cost. All right. So, win at any cost, that could mean, you know, deal with some sort of, like, maybe flash crash. You know, the buyers of Bitcoin or the people who love it are going to have to support it against the people who hate it. Maybe it could be regulators. Maybe the Bitcoin ETF gets turned down. What is the ETF? Uh, they're working on getting a Bitcoin product, a special Bitcoin product that would use actual Bitcoin, but it would be put in a container for stock investors to buy and sell. Mm. Without ever really seeing the crypto, mm. they would get access via the stock. Mm. It's this new hot topic, right? So mm -hmm. everybody thinks that Bitcoin ETF is, this form of the Bitcoin ETF is like the second coming. Yeah. Not not so sure, but you know. Yeah, I back, kind of feel that way too. It doesn't feel um, that they're going to approve it, right? Or that it's very exciting when they do or don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, my personal feeling is, if someone is expecting a big gigantic crash, I don't really feel like that's going to happen. Um. I mean, I think it's way more likely that we're going to have a big gigantic crash in tech stocks, you know, because everything's so over inflated, you know, right. <clears throat> Bitcoin has been holding its ground and it might just continue to do that, you know, not very much fun, but, um, you know, like you said, maybe, 
maybe little mini crashes, you know, it, it's going to respond to, you know, whatever emotional energy currents are going around. I mean, what we're playing with here is the energies, right? right. It, you know, so um, if, if something happened, it could be responsive. But, um, you know, as you say, the bigger the base, the higher the space. And it's a big base. <laughs> it's been sticking around that same number for a long time so right so it's probably more of a base and then bitcoin will undoubtedly be subjected to swings you know if there's a big move in tech stocks bitcoin's not going to be immune to that it yeah feels to me like the i remember when you said like when brett there was a part and you said you know take your profits or you'll regret it in tech stocks oh yeah 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 you know, so we talked yeah. about that we also talked about you know, Bitcoin can't necessarily decouple right now. Well, it, it, it's imminent. It's imminent. Uh, and, you know, that could be something that kind of pushes the decoupling, right? If, if you know, there's, if there's this, you know, blow up with, you know, tech stocks, right? And because they are really, you know, highly valued right now right so if that happens um people are going to go someplace else and i mean i think of bitcoin as an alternative for investing in technology i think the more you know that these coins are attached to technology projects the more acceptance will build around them as well if people see it as not in you know putting money into a speculative you know, well, they're all speculative. All of the stock market is speculative. It's all speculative. It's all just a game, right? But, but you know, what I mean, it like people think that it's attached to nothing. And whereas if they start becoming more tools, you know, then I, I think that would be, you know, more accepted. So the idea that Bitcoin is going to go into, um, you know, being something that the stock market people will like, you know. <laughs> that to me doesn't sound appealing at all. I mean, well, I agree. We're, I agree. We're, we're the rebels. We're, we're, what, what are we doing here? You know what I mean? It's like, what, what is the thought in all of that? I don't understand it, but, but, but whereas being a, a chat, you know, like the, the people who are doing AI with Solano and, you know, and all that kind of stuff, that to me is very exciting. And that to me is, you know, where the focus of, of the cryptocurrency should go into the future, not watering down a product that's supposed to be, you know, that, ha that has meaning, that means freedom and, you know, DeFi and all of the beautiful rebellious sentiments that were, you know, part of the beginning of crypto. And now we're going to be, well, let's, you know, let's water it down so grandpa can eat it. You know, we'll put it in a blender and, you know, serve it up as mush. So, because grandpa's got no teeth anymore. I mean... I'm with you on that. So, Bitcoin probably not going down 40% for the next cycle. And you got a little bonus action that I don't know, BlackRock and Gensler, and I don't know, all these guys can take their ETF and, you know, stick it. We'll see you next time. Sound Healing Sunday, 6 p.m. Premium products coming soon. Bye bye. <laughs>